Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the Arrowverse. Today we're going to be going over two articles. One is from the Flash podcast to do with the new season of Stargirl, and one is from TV Line to do with the Flash's final season. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so Today's video is going to be like a two-part video. We've got two articles to go over, like I briefly mentioned before. And so the first article we're going to be going over is from the flashpodcast.com. Now, the Flash Podcast does great interviews, and this is just part one of their interview with Stargirl star Breck Basinger. And in this interview, she actually talks about something very, very interesting. But the full version of the interview will be released closer to Stargirl Season 3 coming on August 31st. And so that is not a long time away, that is six days because I'm recording this on the 25th of August right now. So I look forward to the new season of Stargirl and hopefully I'll be making videos on it. I apologize that last year I didn't really get to make many Stargirl Season 2 videos. I fell behind on the show but hopefully this year I can stay up to date especially because we have no DC TV shows apart from Stargirl until January. So I hope you're excited. Let me know if you are in the comments down below. But for now, we're going to be going over this Flash podcast article to do with the interview that they did with the star of Stargirl, Breck Basinger. And so this is how the article begins. While The Flash and Superman and Lois will be Back in 2023, DC Stargirl is keeping the Arrowverse going this fall with Season 3 set to premiere next Wednesday, August 31st, with Frenemies as the story arc this year, that is the title. Despite not taking place on Earth Prime or whatever Earth Superman and Lois is supposed to take place on, DC Stargirl is adjacent to the franchise though. The rebooted Earth 2 was first introduced during Crisis on Infinite Earths as well as John Wesley Shipp's character serving as the time between both worlds. I think this is very interesting to point out especially with what Superman Lois did, basically establishing that there is only one superhero on their Earth and that they're in the Arrowverse but they're not on Earth Prime. So Stargirl actually linked the two together, Earth Prime and Earth 2, the new version post Crisis on Infinite Earths by having John Wesley Shipp show up as Jay Garrick serving as a tie-in to both worlds. I think Superman and Lois needs to do something a bit more like that, although I guess they kind of did John Diggle, so that's similar. Okay, so Andy, one of my friends, he is awesome. Go check out his Twitter, that will be in the link in the description below. He does great articles over on Screen Rant, but also he runs the Flash podcast and he was the one that conducted this interview with Courtney Whitmore herself, Miss Breck Basinger. About DC Stargirl Season 3, the full interview will be shared once we get closer to the premiere date, so sometime in the next week or so. And in the interview, Basinger shared a fun little tease when it came to crossovers when asked if DC Stargirl and The Flash may do a crossover since Season 9 will be the end of The Flash and they were supposed to do a crossover before the virus hit. Basinger stated that nothing is in the cards at the moment. However, Basinger did tease that a small crossover cameo situation is being worked out and that schedules are currently being looked over to hopefully make this happen without sharing for what DC project it's meant to be. Here's what she said. This is a quote from the interview. So, I do know, just talking to Jeff Johns, our showrunner, there is nothing specific about The Flash, but there are other things. There is still talks going on about a small crossover cameo situation, and we're actually working on schedules, so I'm hoping it works out, because clearly last time it did not. But I'd say, stay optimistic, they're still pushing for it. So, this is the interview quote that is given in this article, and it's a great one. This gives me a lot of hope, and I think it should give you a lot of hope, because apparently Jeff Johns and the people working behind the show are still pushing for a crossover, even if it's just a mini crossover. And apparently that is something that they are organizing right now to have a small crossover cameo situation, as she says, and they're working on the schedule, so hopefully that works out because she says clearly last time that did not, and so that would be probably long lines of someone from The Flash, maybe even Grant Gustin, just briefly showing up, maybe running across the multiverse and spotting the Earth, and somehow 
crossing paths with Courtney. That definitely could be an option. However, I don't know if it's specifically related to The Flash, although she kind of infers it is. So it could be any character from The Flash. It could be Jay Garrick, however, she says last time it did not work out, and obviously the Jay Garrick stuff did work out. So I'm going to presume it's not Jay for now, and it could be someone else on The Flash. Like, I don't really see Iris or anyone else showing up, so I think the only really big cameo that would happen would be Grant because that's like the most relevant cameo I feel like so we'll have to wait and see if that actually happens but it's nice that she's teasing it and although they don't have like concrete plans right now it's something that they're still pushing for which is something that they're apparently still pushing for which is obviously something that the Superman lowest showrunners aren't pushing for right now because Todd Helbing is very comfortable where he is however I'll be interested to see where Superman Lois goes after the backlash that they faced at the end of season 2 by basically separating it from the Arrowverse and obviously they've run into some trouble because they have to recast Jonathan Kent now so Superman and Lois got its own problems I feel like Stargirl has less problems as of right now because you know it's good to fans and they've actually appeased to fans by having Jay Garrick show up and it was linked in Crisis on Infinite Earths so they haven't said anything to basically distance it away from Earth Prime, but it was more clearly established, so I feel like people really like Stargirl and they take less issue that is not on Earth Prime just because of how vague Superman Lois's showrunner and the people behind the show were about where it was actually set and if it was still canon to Earth Prime, Superman and Lois that we knew. But anyway, let's move on from this, and this is a great interview once again. Please be sure to check it out in the description below. It's just one little small pull quote, but I look forward to reading the whole thing later in the week when Stargirl Season 3 is going to be coming to screens at the end of the month. Okay, so the next article and the second part of this video is from TV Line. And this article is titled The Flash's Farewell Run, so it's final season. Your top six wishes for the final season. So I thought this would be a fun little article to talk about because this is TV Line polling its viewers on what it's most excited about happening in the final season. What do they want most? Now this is something that I find very interesting and maybe I'll do a similar topic at some point as we head towards the end of The Flash well, probably before the season comes out. So let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about The Flash's final season? What is the one thing that you really want to happen? Let me know. Okay, so we're going to be going over this. There is six things that they point out in this article that fans have voted on. A lot of them aren't actually super Flash based, but kind of Arrowverse as a whole. That's why I introduced this video as like an Arrowverse video rather than specifically The Flash or just Stargirl. And so, number six is closure for the legends. Many readers see an opportunity for The Flash as the last true Arrowverse series standing to wrap up dangling storylines, including the future kidnapping of Oliver and Felicity's son slash Mia's brother, William. But most of all, and despite Flash boss Eric Wallace speculating that he would not have time to do so, there is hope that Barry and Co can rescue Sarah Lance and the other Legends of Tomorrow from time prison to which they were headed when the series abruptly ended. There is a quote, I definitely want to see The Flash do a Legends of Tomorrow episode to wrap up the Arrowverse. So that is what one of the TV line readers said. Now this is very interesting and Eric Wallace did talk about this in a recent interview. I don't remember who he actually talked to. It may have been The Flash podcast, but nevertheless, this is something that would be nice for Arrowverse fans and Legends fans specifically. I'm going to be honest, I've told you guys before, not a big Legends fan. Although I was upset that Legends got cancelled and didn't have a proper ending because I used to love Legends in Season 1 up to 3. I would say they definitely deserve a proper ending. And I think the simple fact is, in terms of The Flash, I don't think they're going to have story time to wrap up a whole story from Legends. I think possibly a better way to wrap up Legends would be to have a small cameo from, say, Sarah Lance saying, Oh, we broke out of this prison and 
you know, now we're free, we're back to normal. And that could occur in the Flash's mini crossover that Eric Wallace was teasing that would potentially be at the start of season nine. We know that they are planning to bring in a Supergirl alum who has never been on the Flash before. So there's always the chance that that Supergirl alum and character shows up at the same time as some other characters potentially from Legends of Tomorrow. So number five in terms of fan wishes, Wally West returns. As you are about to see in the next few slides, the return of familiar faces from the Flash's past are high priority for many fans, and while the likes of Superman slash Clark Kent and Lois Lane, at least the Earth Prime versions that Barry's actually interacted with in the crossovers, Mia Smoke, William Clayton and Ralph Dibney racked up a few votes, Iris' brother, Speedster Wally West, played by Keenan Lonsdale, is among the top three characters that you would like to see make a final season encore. I think most of us would agree with it. It would be really nice if they could organize a small cameo with Keenan Lonsdale coming back as Wally West, because really he didn't get all the time that he truly deserved on The Flash, and that was just due to an overabundance of characters and speedsters, and it's been nice when he's shown up again, but he hasn't shown up in a while. Okay, number four is Oliver Queen somehow returns. So the return of the Arrowverse goat, Oliver Queen, that is a quote from a TV line reader, is as desired by many fans as it is improbable. Seeing as Oliver heroically, truly and sincerely died during the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover that preceded Arrow's very final episodes, but even a Barry slash Oliver bromance flashback could do well to bring the Arrowverse, which launched 10 years ago this October, some symbolic closure. I would have to agree. I'm really rooting for an Oliver cameo, whether it's a flashback or not. It would just be so great to get a reference or two about their time in the past. And especially as the TV line article points out, this is kind of like the end of the Arrowverse, really. Like the proper Arrowverse set on Earth Prime and fully involved with the Flash, Arrow, Supergirl and everything. Because the new shows that are coming, they are separated. Stargirl will kind of continue on with that. Gotham Knights is separate. And then also, supposedly, Justice U is going to be linked to Superman and Lois and the version of Diggle that we've seen there. So it won't be linked properly to the Flash, although the Arrowverse will still go on. It's not the true Arrowverse. And that has definitely annoyed a lot of people, so that's why the return of some classic characters to wrap up The Flash would be fitting. Okay, number three is Cara Danvers Returns. This is in fact my number one. This is what I want to see the most. However, I don't think it's very likely, but let's go ahead and read this. A reunion with Cara Danvers, played by Melissa Benoist, would be, in a word, super. For many who loved the duo's dynamic, they had such a great friendly chemistry TV line reader Liz observed, added, my biggest wish for the final season of The Flash would be a guest spot for Kara, Supergirl, to wrap up their friendship, which was of course worthy of a crossover song that they included in the article, which you can check out if you check out the article. But yeah, it's been such a long time since we've seen The Flash and Supergirl crossover, and for that matter, a lot of the characters since Crisis on Infinite Earths, obviously The Flash crossed over with a brief few characters in Armageddon. We saw Alex Danvers return, that was awesome. Hoping for something like that this season with that Supergirl character showing up. But it's been a long time since Barry and Kara were on screen together. So it would be really fitting and it would be amazing if Kara returned. However, I don't think it's likely with how busy Melissa is preparing for a new show that she's working on and also her deal with Warner Brothers. Seems she's really busy, so I don't know if she's going to have any time to fly up to Vancouver and film a crossover cameo. But anyway, number two is Cisco Returns. Of course, Cisco is high up on this list, so Barry's BFS Cisco, played by original cast member Carlos Valdez, was last seen in the season 7 finale, where he officiated West Allen's Val Renewal, but hopefully puts in at least one more appearance possible to officially make an overdue discovery. This is a quote. I hope the show ends with Cisco at least rediscovering the multiverse, says TV line reader Daniel, thus leaving the possibility of Arrowverse characters maybe one day showing up in Superman, Lois, Stargirl, Gotham Knights. I think this is the best 
one and the most likely one to actually happen. I do feel like Cisco should and will return in this season. I'm holding my fingers crossed for Carlos coming back. And I agree that with him showing up and rediscovering the multiverse, that would be the perfect note to end the show on. Basically setting up some of the future for the continuing Arava shows that still exist and that will still play. Okay, so number one is West Allen Starts a Family. And so this is something that TV line readers really want. They really want to see the kind of beginning of everything. The beginning of Bart and Nora and everything like that. I think that could happen at the end of the season. I'm not going to say it's likely to happen right at the start of the season. I think they will lead to that and they will hint towards it, but you're not probably going to see like an ultrasound or, you know, them being kids because I don't think we're going to flash forward to, you know, two years in the future when they are two years old or something like that. But for now, I think it's definitely a possibility. I think it's definitely something that Eric Wallace is going to be thinking about. But I don't know how likely it is that we're going to see Bartonora as kids or as babies. But that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future videos. You can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see.